Welcome to In The Box Collection. It's your boy Francis. Francis, I am. Let's talk about 23-24 Topps Chrome Basketball. How, how I would like to call it. Wimby Chrome Basketball because that is seriously the only thing that we are chasing over in those boxes. Sadly, um, I will not be ripping any um, Wimby Topps Chrome due to the fact that, well, I can't really justify the cost for it. People in my group, people in my circle, they're not really that much into basketball. Also, um, it is a Wimby chase, so which means no Wimby no is probably a loss uh we did go all in on the Wemby chase when it came to prism uh we kind of barely broke even so can't justify that one but hey um and also can't really afford it right now but you know all right carter you got 2587 not for long i make bad financial decisions <laughs> opinions are free though and i can afford that i can afford free right now so Let's just talk a few talking points. Uh, first things first, uh, Tops 2023 Tops Chrome Basketball, it is an unlicensed product, which everybody seems to hate unlicensed products, but it's all changing because of Wemby. We're talking like one player is changing the revolution, but I don't. it doesn't seem like it's changing it for everybody. It's just changing it for just for like Wemby. Now, next year, is there still going to be this hype about Top Chrome Basketball still being on license uh, when there's not a Wemby rookie card? And the rest of the players are still in the YMCA jerseys. Personally, I like uh, 2022, probably, uh, I like unlicensed products. I don't mind it. On any Chronicles, 2022 has a great checklist uh, due to the fact that uh, with the, what I was keeping was I, I kept some stuff of it for my PC, of course. And some of it was really hard to move and people gave me a hard time about it. So if I have it and it's for me, I would definitely buy it. But in terms for, you know, for like flipping or even breaking, I'm, I would not be doing that at this point in time. Now, um, from what I have seen, I think that the sound of the cards are just ugly. I do not like the design of the cards at all. Um, aside from Wemby. Wemby, they, they went all out on Wemby. The, the, Wem, the way that he's just like, you know, He's the, the pose, the lighting, everything up with the Wemby card looks absolutely entirely stunning. It's almost like he's in a Spurs jersey, and then you look at the bottom of it, and it says San Antonio. But, you know, things about unlicensed. I think it's a great. That card is great. That that itself, that card is great. The Wemby card is great. What's not great is, like, Brandon Miller's rookie cards is not great. He's like they use all the budget on Wemby. Um which is, you know, it makes it understandable. You put your money where you're going to have the highest return and more than likely, or not more than likely, it will be Wemby. Everything is Wemby with Top Scrum Basketball. Wemby is carrying the basketball hobby right now. But still, Brandon Miller's car, ah, possibly a good player for the for the Hornets. I think he has a bright future. Not a great Top Scrum car. Uh, Jason Tatum, CP3, like some of the other guys, some of the other vets, just, just not great. If you're a Celtics fan, you're going to buy a a top scrum basketball or you're going to buy the Celtics in a break to get a Jason Tatum in his, I don't know, YMCA jersey? Like, I, to me, it's just hard to justify as a collector for it. That's my personal opinion. Not a huge fan of the product itself. Or well, the way they're, the, maybe the way they're, the more like the way they're doing it and the hype around it. Because they could keep it like big tops, uh, big league baseball, which is a mass produced product. And it still gives you, you know, the players and different things like that and cool stuff. I buy it. I got one of my favorite PC cards is the Aaron Judge uh, from Big League Baseball. I'll, my name is that insert. So, yeah, I call me a hypocrite. Call me not a hypocrite. But at the same time, I just feel like the to me, the product itself is not appealing. But how do you guys feel about it? Um, hey, Tops, I guess, I guess I am a bit of a hypocrite because Tops and Bowman Chrome are going to do crazy stuff every year. I'm going to buy it. But maybe it's just not the product for me. Now, um, talking about, you know, the, my point number two is would be, you know, kind of making it into a bit of a conspiracy theory. But it's crazy how nobody's really talking about how PSA, some of the other grading companies, they're, they're ending, you know, they have a promotion going on for its NBA cards, which is if you submit it to PSA, you have to August 31st, two days from now. But you can still make your submission on August 31st, and as long as you have the card information, you don't even have to have the card physically with you for around 30 days. So, theory, you could still buy a ton of boxes, you know, or buy a ton of cards of uh, a ton of single cards on eBay, and be able to put them on your PSA submission, and it will get graded in just enough time, right? Um, 
the pop report for Wemby is already crazy. Like it's it's already it's a crazy pop report for his cards on PSA and any other grading company as well. I can only imagine what it's going to be here in a few in a few months when all those cards that are being submitted right now get back and they are they're they're you know they're they're back into people's hands. They're going to be thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and trillions of cards. What is that going to do to the value of a Wemby card? Is it just going to be like watered down? Are people going to be pretty hyped about, hey, I have a Wemby car, I have a Wemby car, and it's going to be all the Spider-Man little things with, with a little Spider-Man meme, which is, instead of being Spider-Man, would just be Wemby cars all around, right? <laughs> so, um, in my opinion, from like a marketing perspective, I think it's a great strategy by Topps Chrome and by the companies all around it. I mean, they're, we are the customer. They're appealing to our appeals. We're like, we want more Wemby. We want more Wemby. And now we're getting more Wemby. I mean, yeah, 650 $700 a pop for a hobby box. Out of my budget, unfortunately, I guess if I had the money, I would definitely buy it, mostly for the hype for it. Uh, low expectations with it. It's crazy. I mean, what does it really mean for the for the small guys, for the small collectors, the people that, you know, they, they have a, a PC or they're just doing it in it for the hobby? We see less and less of those people nowadays. But hey, I, I have a Yankees PC that unfortunately is drilling down because, you know, times are hard. But... If it's not just a business, I mean, we can't forget about the incident about a few months ago when they loaded um, all those hobby boxes. What is that going to happen? I mean, to those guys with the autos and different things like that and the buyers. Everybody's leaning how um, loaded, how big uh, the, the loaded boxes are for breakers. And then I'll go buy a, a, a box on DACA or blowout cards and I get a guy that's a 26-year-old rookie and I'm like, hey, guys, buy into my break. Yay. But no, we do, we do okay. So luckily, I'm blessed. We do okay. Now, in the future, the, the market's going to be flooded with Wemby. Is that going to water down the Wemby Valley? Is that going to do anything for Wemby? Or, yeah, I mean, the one-on-one Wemby gold, that's going to be crazy. I don't think they found it just yet, but it's been like two days. Every time I go on Facebook, there's just more and more Wemby top scrum cards. It's just, it's, it's, I, I think, I don't know. It's going to be crazy. Now, for year two, I hope I'm wrong. But what if Wemby is different? I, I, I don't want to be right. I don't even want to be right nor wrong. So I'm not predicting. I'm not making a prediction. But I'm just like, imagine. Like, what if year two Wemby is completely different? And he becomes more Crystal Persingas and less Magic, LeBron, greatness kind of player. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. But what if it does? I mean, are we looking at the origin story of this is how I invested on Wemby NBA cards and lost all my money? Or I bought this Wemby card. I bought this Wemby Auto for ten grand, and I sold it the last week for two hundred and fifty. Dun dun dun. I mean, those are pretty funny, but sometimes the struggle be real. Now, what's next for Panini for Topps Chrome? I, I think Topps now is the future. Imagine selling a card at eleven ninety nine with a trillion chance at a Judge Auto or a Triple Auto with Durant Curry and James. I'm loving it. All right, guys, this is your boy Francis. This is in the box selection. This is my rant on twenty twenty three Topps Chrome basketball because, I, you know. I think I just, just wanted to rant about it and talk to the group chat. And I'm pretty sure I posted all this in the group chat and the whole script was from the group chat. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys buy Topps Chrome? Are you guys looking for anybody else aside from Wemby? Is there any other guys that will be a good chase on it? Let me know. Hope you guys have a great day. This is In The Box Relation. It's your boy Francis. Deuces.